Hello, welcome to this next video, a video of installments regarding JavaScript and how to use it. So let's begin. In this episode, what we will be talking about before we actually start using JavaScript is programming concepts and how they reflect uh, as using them with JavaScript. And as I've said in the previous in the video previous to this, Learning these concepts will help you when picking up and understanding different languages. It's not just for JavaScript. These, these concepts are used throughout a lot of other programming languages, if not all. These concepts, these concepts you'll be able to use whether you're using C or C++ or PHP or Python or Perl or most of the other programming languages you'll be able to apply these concepts as well so let's let's start so the first one we were going to we're going to talk about is what a character is in the programming language and these videos are not going to get too in depth into these we're just going to use plain basic language and definitions if you want to go deeper into this Go ahead and apply your comments in the comments below. But for these videos, as we say, let's go ahead and start. A character, in my humble opinion, is just a, it's, it's, it can be anything. It can be a letter. That's a character. It could be a number. That's a character. So a character is usually a, sim a, a simple one one type of deal like this these are characters and they can either be letters or numbers that's a character now the next concept we want to talk about we we'll want to talk about strings right so what's a string very simple a string is a bunch of characters. It could be a sentence like this is a string. So a string, usually a string is a bunch of uh, characters that are put together usually as a sentence or as a paragraph. So this is a string and usually when you do when you create a string you usually put them in either between double quotes or single quotes both can be used and both are recognized in the JavaScript universe so that's what a string is or strings and then the next concept we want to go over are numbers numbers are very easy you have the regular integer numbers and I should look this up. Integers. I don't know how to spell it. In either case, an integer is a whole number or a normal number. That's one, two, three, four, all the way to infinity. Right? No, that's what an integer is. It's just a regular whole number. And then you have another type of number which is called a float and what is a float that's any number that has either a point or a decimal in it so 1.5 is a as a float or 2.10 is a float or 3.15 4.20 etc okay so javascript it recognizes floats and it recognizes integers. And those will be a majority of the uh, numbers that we will be dealing with with JavaScript. Okay? And as another one is objects. Okay? An object in the programming language, usually it's something like a class. You'll have a class and you can name that class a car. That car is a software representation of an object, whereas in real life, it would be a real representation of an object. 
right? So you've got a car, you've got a chair, you can have a dog, okay? The, that's a object in the real world, as well as in, in the programming world as well. So that's what that's part of uh, the programming concepts that we'll be going over in our next video. We'll be going over things such as variables, concepts, arrays, functions, conditional statements, loops, operators, and commenting. Don't worry, we'll go over each one. You'll be able to understand it. We will be using simple, basic concepts. You'll enjoy it. So, thank you very much. I appreciate you looking at my video. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you've been following along so far. I hope this has been teaching you something that you want to know. Thank you. Please like and subscribe, and you have a good day.